guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. I I didn't know if I was going to do this story on this page or my odd man out, because this is more news related. But I'm doing it here because I know you guys would enjoy this story and many of you have not checked out my new channel. So uh, let me get recording here and then we're going to start talking about it. Apparently, I mean, the... The the simp thing and the e-fans and the only girls accounts and all this has become such mainstream news that pretty much everybody now is kind of getting pulled into understanding more about the manosphere and just the red pill and it seems like there's been an uptick in the information because people start looking at what is a simp and where did it come from and where did this word and then it kind of bleeds into the manosphere a little bit but here's a Here's a fun story that I thought I'd read for you guys because, you know, I am a believer of, uh, you know, I'm libertarian. I, I, you know, I, there has to be some government regulation, but I am a guy that believes, hey, you do you and however that badly or affects your life or if it helps you or whatever, whatever, that works for you. But there's still part of me that thinks this is funny, even though he kind of took away the girl's rights to do this. Um, but here's the thing. If, if you're going to go online and offer your photos, your spicy photos for money, uh, and then you act shocked and upset that your stuff gets out, it's not like this was a private text. You're selling a subscription. So you're kind of saying, I'm okay with this out there. So when this guy goes out and doxes these girls, well, you kind of get what you ask for. It says, man becomes an undercover simp subs to OnlyFans accounts, and then sends the girls' spicy photos to their parents. Several workers have been hit by the man masquerading as a, a fan. Man has been heralded as a king by some corners of social media after infiltrating various Only account fans or OnlyFan accounts by paying the required sub fee and then leaking the spicy images to the parents. In the age of the bug, workers are, the spicy workers around the world have reported a loss of income. Wow, shocking, like the rest of us. Surprise. Uh, in some cases, seeking government financial assistance as social distancing to prevent the, the spread of the infection decimates their potential earnings. What if you're the pizza guy or the barista or the bartender? Guess what? Yeah, they have the same problems. You have a backup, though, that a lot of guys don't. Surprising. Social distancing and the easy accessibility of the internet and OnlyFans, for example, has posed a new opportunity for spicy workers and economically vulnerable women to make a quick buck over the global bug. As a result, some OnlyFans stalwarts have complained over the e-girl market saturation, leading to a loss of overall income besides the extra competition. That's right, when, when supply outdoes the demand, prices fall. I don't feel bad for you. Sorry. National File previously reported on an Australian OnlyFans influencer who claims to have no other talents. As her revenue stream began to evaporate, her subscription waned due to the bug-related financial strain on her supporters. Furthermore, internet memes have flourished in satirizing OnlyFans account holders and their 21st century Johns, otherwise known in parts as simps. Uh, the Australian one was funny. She's basically, uh, and I, I thought about doing a video on this, but I'd seen it covered in other places, and I said, I'm not going to bore. But she's basically on camera crying, saying, all oh, my money is gone, I can't do anything, blah, 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 and I have no other talents. Like, this is all I'm good for, and with the clubs being closed, I can't even go, like, strip. So, that, there you go. So, anyway, this Jacob, um, he says... My web browser is being funny today. Uh, I don't have a big platform, but anyone who's involved in SW has friends who are. Please be aware of this absolute crap stain of a human who is doxing girls for willingly making content. So this is someone, I guess, reporting on it. Uh, only t uh, one Twitter user under the handle of Professor Wilhelm was subscribing to several OnlyFans accounts out of his own pocket only to send the performer's parents their spicy images. The actions have been center of a social media storm. Seeing the man behind the Professor Wilhelm face tremendous backlash as he is accused of leaking sensitive information. Um, here's the thing. Again, if you make a public account and somebody finds it and decides to share it, you put it on the web. Just because it's behind a paywall gives you no right to privacy. Netflix is behind a paywall. Hulu is behind a paywall. That doesn't really mean much. It doesn't really give you any um, protection. 
Several, organ several original posts were deleted. However, the other Twitter users on the side of protecting the workers took screenshots advising people to be careful online. In his Twitter bio, Professor Wilhelm is a former, uh, is a former adult worker manager and dealer turned community leader, restaurant owner, and landlord. He pinned his, his pinned tweet reads, Look at this. On my undercover account, I sympathized with a spicy worker because she was afraid of some dude exposing her. But when I told her about my low self-esteem, she didn't comfort me. She only cared about the money. Well, she'll be crying and begging pretty soon. Another tweet, the former gent, uh, adult manager went on to write, Right now I'm working on the biggest uh, manager in the game today, Timothy Stokely. He's the biggest, most vicious manager in the world, creator of OnlyFans. We are crunching some of the numbers on him and digging deep into his past. Give us a few months. We're going to tank his business. Social media was polarizing following the revolution of the OnlyFans. Spicy photos being leaked to their parents. Some condemned the, condemned the leaks while others thought to epitomize hilarity. National File also reported on a story where a mature OnlyFans adult worker was selling her late daughter's spicy photos to keep her memory alive. In other words, making money on her passed away daughter's dirty photos. You're a champion. A spicy worker mother drew negative criticism for social media by mem memorializing her late daughter by posting her spicy images on Twitter. The strange act promptly, the strange act prompted many u accounts to tweet about the eulogy. The original tweet showing the mother Liza Martini with her late daughter Ava, who were pictured both topless, has now been deleted. Commenters were quick to condemn the acts. So, you know, I, I here's what I think is funny about this. Number one, if you're going to put your material out there, whether behind a paywall or not, hey, the internet's forever. You get what you get. Now, just because now there is part of me, like I said, that I I, I believe you should be able to allowed to do whatever you want to, and uh, that's kind of you know free speech. Well, you were allowed to create the account. And you did. Congratulations. He was allowed to subscribe and see your photos. Congratulations. He was allowed to take screenshots because that's how computers work and the internet works. And he's allowed to share them. I don't see anything that's really making this against the law. Um, it, it, maybe it is. I don't know. But uh, again, if someone makes a this Mr. Wilhelm, you can make a, a, a new email. You can use someone else's photo or a fake account. You can spread this information. And if you mask your IP address using a, a VPN or something, they have no way of, of, of finding out who you are. So there's no way to stop this happening. So if girls are going to do this, yeah, well, hey, you got you got to take the risk to get the reward, I guess. And uh, they're, I guess they're getting a little bit of the, the action back in their face. Do I think this is a good thing? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of funny. And I think it, it too many women think they can do this and no one will know about it. And I can quietly make this money and I can do a hush hush on the side. I think this is a pretty much a slap in the face to remember, hey, you put this stuff online. You put yourself out there to the public. People are going to find out about it. And when they do, there can be some ramifications and some things that maybe you didn't think about. And maybe this is enough to make a woman pause and say, is this something I really want to do? Is, do I really want to go down this path? Is the money going to be so good that I need to? Or is it going to be uh, so harmful to me that it may affect my future relationships, which it will. It may affect my future job prospects, which it will. And it may cause me a lot of headaches down the road, which it will. So I, I, I find this an interesting story, but I think it's also really good that it's gotten out there and been shared so much because it starts letting guys realize that maybe being one of these guys, this somebody that's paying for these photos and all this stuff, isn't such a good idea. And it's really not going to get you anywhere in life. If anything, it just makes you kind of sad and uh, needy. So maybe maybe simple continue to grow in popularity. I know it's gotten so bad that that Twitter or excuse me Twitch has banned emojis with simp in it. So again, if they can't make it go away, they'll try to shut it down. Be interesting to see what happens, guys. If you'd like to support my work, links are below. As always, if you have recently, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. That's the best way to help me out. I'll leave it there. This is Better Bachelor. I'm Joker. And remember, 
If you're going to share this stuff online, the internet lives forever, so don't be surprised when everybody can see your junk. Thank you.